Okay, this will just be a fairly quick video. I wanted to show you how you can actually use uh, the Ada Fruit GitHub account uh, to download uh, 3D model parts, uh, like little tiny boards and accessories, directly into the Fusion 360 environment. It's really simple, so we'll just go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing is, let's go to Fusion here or excuse me, into GitHub. So you should have a GitHub account. Uh, and I'll provide a link to this, but it's the github.com Adafruit, Adafruit CAD parts. So GitHub has been working on creating a uh, CAD library for all the different parts it makes. So this makes it easy for us to find something and download it and bring that actual object into our model. Uh, it's a pretty extensive list here, so kind of sometimes finding things can be a bit tricky. Uh, so what I do recommend is if you know what you're looking for, you can do a quick search. Uh, let's just say um, we'll do a NeoPixel. Uh, so you can see as I do that, there's a bunch of NeoPixel things. Uh, we can look for a NeoPixel stick. There we go. And so now you'll see under the NeoPixel stick, we have a couple of files. Now, both these files here, a step file and the F3D, this is a Fusion 360 file. Both of these would work as an import. Uh, so, it, so if you don't see one or the other, you know, they don't have everything for all the different parts. Either types of files like this will work. Step file is a general 3D model file, and the F3D is a specific Fusion uh, type of file. Uh, so if we let's see here, we click on the F3D, and we can come over here. There's the download option here, or here we can just download it. And so that's now going to download. You can put it wherever you want. I have now created a folder on my Google Drive for Adafruit, where I can put uh, different Adafruit models, and I'll hit save. So it's that easy. You can go and find whatever uh, you're looking for here uh, at the GitHub for uh, GitHub for add parts. Now back in Fusion, uh, we'll just go to whatever project you're you happen to be working on. I don't. I just opened a blank project here. You'll have to save it first. Uh, actually, I'm not going to save it because I've already done a test here. I'm going to turn this one off. Uh, but what I recommend is creating a folder for maybe Adafruit projects or for Adafruit downloads uh, that can always be in here. And we can just upload that file. So we'll go and find it now. Here it is. Here's the F3D file we just downloaded, that NeoPixel stick. And we can see type F3D size, everything, and then where it's going to uh, be downloaded to here in Fusion 360. That's all fine. We'll hit upload. Back. Here you can see it's downloading now. And upload complete. You can see the corner here, information center. And now I can just right click on it and choose insert with the current design. Let it think for a minute. And here we go. So here is, I'll hit OK to place it, a NeoPixel stick. Now we could go in here and start to color it to, to look the way that a Neo Pixel Stick looks. Obviously, it's just got sort of gray color scheme on it, uh, but it's very simple to go in, use the Appearance tab. If you just click A on the keyboard, uh, you can select Faces, and then we can go in here and you can choose whatever you want, paint, PNG, plastic, uh, and we can start to add. Well, hold on one second. Okay, so yeah, just for figuring that out. So I was in my Adafruit, whoops, my Adafruit test file here when I imported this, but we can see here it's linked. So it's actually linked back to the original file. So I can't make really any changes to it in here. I'd have to go to the original file to make changes. So they just double click the NeoPixel stick to open it. Here it is open. Uh, so this is the actual NeoPixel stick file that we uploaded. Again, if I go now to the appearances, I can come in here 
and add appearances to it, make it sort of somewhat consistent basis. Um, make it appear more like a neoplasm than it looked like. Uh, then if I save this, go ahead and click save here, and go back to the test file, it's gonna tell me there's been an update, go ahead and update that. And then this should update. So you know, you can go ahead in the original file, make changes to it to make it look the way you want, and then you can always update it here. If you needed to make different changes, like a new NeoPixel stick, you could copy it. Uh, you could also just break the link, and you can do that right here. Um, but I'm not going to do that today. So this is a way for you to bring in many different types of objects from Adafruit. Uh, I encourage you to go and search that repository. The same thing can be uh, done on GrabCAD. So if we go to, let's just do one more thing here. Again, you'll have to create a GrabCAD account. And I'll, cr I'll give links to both of these. Uh, hopefully it'll sign in here. There we go. And if we go to library, let's just search for something. So, uh, you know, Something that's not necessarily simple. Let's just do a uh, Arduino Uno. And you're going to find a bunch of different files for the Arduino Uno. Um, if we click on this one, we can see uh, what type of files we have here. These are SLD, these are SolidWorks. Uh, you can usually bring those in. Again, I usually look for step files on these objects if they have them, but then you can download those files and bring them in. Uh, I wouldn't bring that one in because it doesn't have step files. Let's try this one. So here's a step file. So that we could download. And I'll just put that in Adafruit. It's a zip file, so I'm going to need to unzip it. So let's go back to File Explorer here. And let's get to this and extract and extract. Okay. Now I can go back to Fusion here, upload. Let's go search for that file. And who knows this is a step. Upload. Go back to Fusion. Here it is uploading. I'm going to hide this one. See our upload progress down here at the bottom. And it's uploaded fully. Again, I can right click on it, insert into current design. Hopefully, this is a bigger piece. There it is. So now I've got a full Arduino Uno here. Uh, in my design that I can work with. So those are two ways, basically. Uh, one, using the Adafruit GitHub repository, and the other using uh, a website like GrabCAD to import 3D models of circuit boards uh, and circuitry into your 3D modeling project. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.